up guys, this is I'm Frost by HD and I'm bringing you a mod tool created by Oprazo OP and this mod pretty much does everything, it's every mod from the past into one big mod and under clicks of buttons you can get anything you want, it is extremely easy so what you want to do is go ahead and plug in USB drive into your Xbox 360, click on play game push X and make sure you're on your memory unit so you don't have to go on the dashboard and move it over click on the world that you want to do and I just made a world like 30 seconds ago and I'm just going to go ahead and do that because it takes forever to create one so I just went ahead and created it and I'm just going to load it up and use this one which I spawned right in the ravine <laughs> which is pretty cool but so once this is loaded we're going to go ahead and get out your map and there's like little quadrants of the map um, that you want to fly around into so the program can identify it like let me see there we go. So right here is four quadrants inside this map and you want to fly into each little section of the map so you can so the program when you put it in it can identify it and you can edit blocks and chunks into it without the thing freezing. So there are quadrants in like the bottom right, bottom left, top right and top left and it's just you just fly around in a little rectangle score square box and that's all you gotta do and then put whatever box you want in your inventory and go over to the PC and mod it. Alright, as you can see, I filled up most of the map and so what you want to do now is you can just get any blocks in inventory that you want to edit. So I'm just going to get this in my inventory and that's it because all you need is one block in your inventory for you to be able to edit your inventory. So I'm going to go to zero, zero. All right here is zero, eighty-eight, and zero and now I'm going to go ahead and make sure you save the game. This is important. So if you don't save the game and we'll try to mod it, it's probably not going to work. So we're going to make sure you save the game and then we'll head over to the PC. Okay, now we're on the PC. And so what you want to do is get a thing called Horizon, which the download link will be in the description if you do not have it already. And so open up Horizon, plug in your USB drive into your computer, and then click on games minecraft and find the map that you want to mod which mine is uh, right here because I had a jungle around me and well not jungle with trees right here so right here it is and so what I would do is make up a file for a backup save so I'm going to put mine right here reason you want to make a backup save for this just in case if the mod does not work and your world freezes on a really important world and then you lose that world forever so you make sure you make a backup save which mine is in this folder right here and yes so click on the program which your download look will be in the description if you do not have it and make sure you run as administrator this is really important it will not work if you do not run it you get to check you check for updates if you run it it might work without running it but for most people it will not so run as administrator and open up the program all right so we're gonna open up the save game dot that which mine is my backup save folder right here let's click open so all right let's go ahead and get modding this go over to the settings tab and right here you can change the spawn point of your player you can change the spawn point of your player you can make it not in creative so you can get all the achievements if you want and this takes off the creative flag so it acts like it's only been in survival and right here you can change the presets of the game make change the game time so we'll make it never raining and put in adventure mode and now it's just the one check but you can make it never raining and you can put adventure mode in if you want but we can go over to the players tab now click on the player it would be like player 2, player 3, player 4 down here. And what that would do is that's other people that has been in your game. And you can change their event inventory as well. You can change what they have in an inventory as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get me diamond tools. My pickaxe. So I'm going to edit the enchantments. Get max enchantments except for silk touch. And fortune. So right there. And then let's say if I want to block the sun even in the game yet. I can go down and go down to Jesus with sandstone and get that. And if I want to block on my head, just click on the head little block thing. Add a block. And if I want like a blue wolf, I can add that to it. 
if you want to edit the enchantment of an actual block, just click on a block that you want to add the enchantments of, and go to edit enchantments, and you can put the enchantments on the blocks too. So if I want like this, I can have that on the actual block. And the reason why this is question mark is Opazo has not yet made a texture of the block for the ID, so don't worry about that. That doesn't m mean anything. So now let's go ahead and go over to the map tab and click on the map. Same thing as players. If there's more than one map to it, other maps people, that's other people in your game that have maps in the inventory, and you can edit them too. So let's go ahead and select PNG. And spawn an image. Spawn is right here. Click yes to import importing the image. And there we go. My Mountain Dew logo is there. And it has to be 128 by 128 pixels. So make sure it's like that. You want to open up Photoshop, file new, have 128 by 128 pixels, pixels. Okay. And let it load. You want to go to file open, find the image that you want to make small into it, and click open that. And then what you want to do is drag that image over into this little box here. But you want to make it, if it's too big, you want to go to edit, transform, and scale it down to size so you can make it the same size, which mine already is. And then you just go to file, save as, and as a PNG image onto your desktop. And there you go, which I've already done that, so don't need to do this. And if you don't want to update the map, because if it's in the overworld and you update the map, it's going to actually update the map. So if you put it in the nether or the end, it will not update the map unless you go in the nether or the end. So that's really useful. So save changes. If you don't save it, it's not going to save. So I'm going to do it twice just to make sure. And over here in the world tab, you can click on the overworld thing and you can make a custom flatland and it's gonna say not responding but it's just got low because I have a big world for a really big world it's just gonna take a minute to actually work so if it says not responding don't worry just let it load and it will work like that see I'm not gonna do the custom flatland because I'm gonna do this instead so if I'm gonna go to chunk 70 Zero, 070 zero, which uh, it was 88 in the map but that's I was pretty high up so I'm gonna find this chunk right here which is trees and stuff if I clear the whole chunk it's gonna clear all these blocks are in the game from the very bottom of the map to the very top of the map so all these are gonna be gone and if I just clear the layer so if I go down to 64 or 62 I can just clear the layer or if I want to Oh wait, whoops, I did the wrong. If I go over to like negative 10, and I find that chunk right here, you can clear the land like that. Let's see if I just want to go to negative 10 on here too. See, this will just clear the layer of all these blocks, and this will clear from the bottom to the top. So if I find this again, negative 10, I'll clear this, and I'll fill it with light gray wool. And it's going to fill the whole bottom of the map to the very top of the map with like gray wool even in between and everything and yeah for the layer just do one little layer but this is what this does so if you just want to add a certain block you just go to edit if I want to make that like cold war edit we delete it and I like this because I can now for certain chunks of the map I can put it go ahead and put a layer down of what I want and delete blocks kind of like MC edit so I can delete stuff on my map so I don't have to sit there and manually delete it myself which makes it so much easier and that's still pretty much the world tab so go over to the other tab you can add a mob spawner so if I want a mob spawner where I was at say let's just put it at let's see 88 no not 88 let's put it at 75 I guess because we just cleared that down so we put it at 75 just put this at a thousand each so I don't want to spawn too fast then spawn count we'll just do one put it in the dimension of the overworld place it itself and let's say let's just do an ender dragon make it look cool create it 
and it was created. And how you know it's created is go to your world tab back again, find that chunk that you ended in to create the mob spawner, and we'll see if it's there, which is right here in the top left corner. So I'm gonna make sure that save changes in this too because I remember I did not do it so save changes in this the player you want to make sure you save the changes or it's not going to save so in the maps I did that I saved it in here and that's pretty much the mod on advance it's for the other modders to worry about which I don't know nothing about this so that's the mod so you want to do is go save it okay and you, I'm going to save it onto my desktop and so see you see how easy it is to mod your save game by that under clicks of buttons so you just you're modding the whole thing so it's really use um useful to use and really easy to do which i think one thing that's gonna be updated in later is potions modern potions because i can't see that in there it doesn't have that in there yet because this is a beta so if you don't the stuff still going to be coming in here because it's a beta it's gonna be a lot more mods into it Okay, as you see here, save successful, and the program's gonna restart itself, which we will not eat it no more. So what we're gonna do is just go back on Horizon, which you have right here, click on replace, find the one you just saved onto your desktop right here, and then open it up, and file replace successfully. What we wanna do is make sure you save, rehash, and resign. You want to make sure you do this so it's not going to save the actual map itself and it could freeze. So I'm going to do it twice just to make sure. So when you save and we have to resign it. When, you, when you're done doing that, that's it. You did the mod. So all you're going to do is go plug it back into your Xbox 360 and let's go see if it worked. Now let's see if it works. I'm going to put on easy to make sure because we did create a mob spawner. So put on easy for it to spawn the inner dragons. So we're opening it up. I'm sorry about earlier the mic, how it makes them noises in the background. I'm sorry, but I have a really crappy mic from Walmart for recording. It's fifteen dollars. It's a Logitech mic, Logitech, and it's really crappy. I know. I'm sorry for it. Eventually, I'll get a better mic for YouTube. But oh, as you see, it worked. You can see the inner dragon, inner dragon spawner right there with the inner dragon in it. The chunk that went all the way down up, also filled it all the way up with this. Got every single enchantment on this maxed out. All of them. It was all the enchantments. I got cheese with sandstone as you see. If you look at it really closely, it's cheese with sandstone. But if you replace it, let's see. So you see it, but I got the block on my head. And this is enchanted as well. So, block on, can I take the block off my head? Yeah, can I put it back on there? No. <laughs> but yeah, you see how it did the chunk right there, left it, and right there with the layer. Wait, no. I don't know where the layer cleared at. I think I already did it. Back right here or something, but I just see the mod does work. I bet I did simple stuff, and here's the spawner right here. And you see the mod does work, and it's cool. And this is all the way in. And so, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, a comment, or subscribe, it would be really appreciated because this mod is, is extremely useful, it's so easy to use, it's unbelievable. and think about it it actually works for how easy it is so and by the way this is a humongous jungle as I get a map right here it is humongous oh wait I forgot about that it's the Mountain Dew that's what the map does <laughs> forgot about that but as you see the map did work too as it now is Mountain Dew <laughs> completely forgot about that would not have showcased it as you see the map did work everything works in this mod and it's just really useful so sorry again about the mic, how horrible it is to have is but
I just know I'm not going to do about it until I get a new one. So, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.